Hey, you would not believe what just happened to me. We're Steph and Micah, and we bought an ambulance to convert into a camper sight unseen. And this is how it went. We saw an auction on eBay for an ambulance 500 miles away. We said, what the heck, let's just bid on it. And we won. So Micah had to hop on a plane from Georgia to New Orleans to go get it and drive it back. Here's the story of that day. Okay, so we ju I just pulled over. I'm out here in New Orleans, but today I bought an ambulance for Steph and I. I just feel like I'm too excited right now to really be able to gather my thoughts. So I may have to do like a whole talking segment when I get back on this stuff. We made a little pit stop. Say hello to our HDTV friends. Just thought I would stop in Laurel, but here it is. Haven't done anything with the lights yet, but that's pretty illegal. So far, it's been a great drive. It rides smooth and maybe it needs a tire alignment. I mean, it's it's old back there. It needs some updating. But I'm gonna tear all that out anyways. I'm just really excited to test out all these buttons. I mean, can't do that right now. So quaint. I love it. I was 20 minutes away from getting home, and I had noticed there's kind of a, a lump in my tire. I feel it bumping. I don't want that to become a problem. But you know what? It did become a problem because my front tire just absolutely exploded. So close, yet so far. The adventure continues. trying to get tow trucks, and you'd think it'd be a pretty easy thing to do, you know? Apparently not. It's really difficult to find somebody willing to tow an ambulance for the right price. <sighs> but I got a tow truck coming. I don't know if I said that. So things are looking up. So by now, I would have been showered. I would probably be in bed. I was in bed. Thank you. This is my first time seeing the ambulance on the side of the road. Tow truck is here. It is 11.25 p.m. The guy is putting the ambulance on the trailer. But like, he, it almost fell. He was like cranking it. It was like wobbling down. Oh, goodness gracious. It's too late for this drama. What is happening, Micah? I think we stayed. What do you say? He was like, stay behind me with your hazards on because I'm going to be going real, real slow because this has got my truck to the max. <laughs> I hate this so bad. Oh We're going really slow, like really slow. 26 miles an hour on the highway. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the tow truck is as large as our ambulance. It's almost like the ambulance is going to fall over. We're not far from our house, probably 15 minutes now. At this pace. 30 minutes? 45 minutes, I don't know. And Micah's been traveling all day. It made it. Congratulations, Micah. Many hours. <laughs> Good morning. So how do you feel after yesterday? Well, I felt really discouraged last night but I feel better. I think we can handle it now. There it is, our ambulance. We were kind of both like, what the heck have we done? <laughs> it's gonna be a year since we finished the tiny house behind me. We just can't sit still, so we just bought an ambulance. And now we're like, why did we do this to ourselves? <laughs> Check it out. So here's our first little compartment. I just put my tools in there and we got our starter batteries are actually back here. And we've got some extra little storage on the outside. Another little compartment, a really big compartment. Yeah, when we bought it, they found out that the windows were actually busted, so I had to drive it home like this. Saran wrapped and cardboard <laughs> duct tape. There's another pretty large compartment. Comes with our own wasp nest. What? Mm, cool. This is the 
7.3 liter diesel. They stopped making that in 2003. This apparently is like a legendary engine compared to the 6.0. There's lots of problems with that one. This one runs like a champ. So there's another compartment. This is kind of like electrical stuff that I need to learn what it is. Another compartment. The possibilities are endless. So that was their line for the oxygen. Obviously, we won't be needing that. I don't think, <laughs> unless you want it. The inside is pretty basic. We don't need that because that's the lights and stuff. It only has 100,000 miles, which is crazy because it's a 2003. We're gonna switch the radio out. So we can have a backup camera. This is a huge space for Byron to lay down when we drive. There's plenty of space back here for me to put a subwoofer or two. No. <laughs> yes. I mean, it's in good condition up here, which was really the, the big thing. But here we're not gonna do anything fancy and we're gonna put a door here. It'd be good for safety reasons and also a little bit of insulation would yeah. help because lots of heat comes through the windows. So this is our uh, newest upgrade. It holds zero pounds per square inch. No, this happened last night, obviously. And it's funny because I thought to myself, I've never dealt with a tire exploding like completely on the highway. Not looking forward to that day. Little did I know that day was yesterday. This is inside. Pretty basic, pretty short as well. Hopefully when we take off this ceiling, we'll have an extra couple inches. I'm 5'9", and my head touches, so it's exactly 5'9". So the AC back here does work. I just don't know if I'm going to out of here based off of how much power it takes. Ooh, we have like all kinds of cabinets, but we're going to take all these out because first of all, they're like impossible to open and it's just not our style. <laughs> it's not my style. <laughs> Look what I found, guys. This is full of used syringes. I mean, a lot of people leave them as is. There's tons of storage and some people will just have like a fold out bed and they'll use the compartments. We're just gonna do a complete mm -hmm. overhaul. I think today we're gonna start trying to take things out. We're gonna measure and then see what kind of configuration we can have. These are like the compartments outside. So it's not like completely square, but this is gonna be our home. Mm -hmm. But the lights work. Yeah, the wee wee, wee lights. lights. There it is. It's also illegal to drive with the red lights, so <laughs> we have to change them from one tiny house to another tiny house. On our next video, the, the demolition, demolition begins. begins. Micah, careful. <laughs> She's a psycho. Ah! Just need to be more patient. Okay, show me how it's done. Just like that. 